Ooh wee, doesn't this look interesting? It's way shallower than I thought it was gonna be right here. I can see the water is really clear. Now it's probably four or five foot in the channel, but I see some big rocks right there. I thought the water would be higher. Man, it's clear though. I'm up here on the border of Tennessee and Kentucky. Kentucky's just like a mile that way. And I got a Dale Hollow tournament this weekend. Today's Friday, the tournament is tomorrow. I came up today, it's like one o'clock now. I wanted to do a little bit of pre-fishing and I got a place to stay the night with my buddy Gary. Never kayaked on Dale Hollow, I've been out in a boat and this is gonna be fun. It's a tournament, it's in March. Fish should be biting. Um, it's supposed to get a little cooler and some and windy. I've been wanting to check this part out. This is probably way upstream. I don't know if there's any big bass to come in here, but right now we're gonna get out here and fish for at least a couple hours, try to figure something out. Oh, there's a smallie. There's a smallie. Cut on the brand new bubblegum yellow swirl, yum Helgramite. <laughs> Got a nice small mouth. It's not gonna be huge, but let's get a length on it. 13 and a half incher. It would qualify for a keeper, but I'm definitely gonna have to get bigger ones than that. But um, it's really interesting. He came out pretty aggressive after it. A big largemouth just followed up my chatterbait. This water is so clear. I, I'm i just, I switched to throw this chatterbait and had a big bass follow it. Or it wasn't huge, huge, but it was, I could tell it was a largemouth, but I could tell it was a good size. There's a fish. That's a little Kentucky spot. Well, I was gonna kind of bypass. I saw that big fish follow. That's not gonna help me, but it makes me think there may be a lot more fish in this hole right here. That's um, probably six, seven foot deep in this big area right through here. Man, there's a, there's another fish. Okay. All right, let's um, <clears throat> go to a spinner bait. You know, I'll make a few more casts in here, but I'm gonna move on downstream because you can't I can't go any further upstream than where I went. So let's see what it looks like downstream. And I don't know, this place is kind of giving me some hope. Like I just don't know if there's a lot of fish in here, but I know there is fish in here. Well, there's another Kentucky. He's probably a 12 incher, still not big, but that's the third fish already out of here. That one on a spinnerbait. Wow. All right, there, there's fish in here. Ah, oh, man, they're all small though. Look at the shape of that small mouth. <laughs> hey, something's wrong with him. Big old Kentucky. Another one on the Yumdinger, I mean, I keep calling it Yumdinger, on the new Helgramite. He's not a giant length. He's only 14 inches, but he's a big old body. 
Man, I'm gonna have a hard time if I keep catching fish aside, just deciding whether to come back here in the morning. Since I know there's fish here, just don't know if there'll be enough, but we're gonna go down a little further. That's still a bunch of fish in just a short amount of time. That's, this is way better than I thought. Oh my goodness, another one. <laughs> Dude, this is fun fishing here. This place is on fire and they're all Kentuckys. And they're big ones for Kentuckys. This fat, but 13 and a half inches long. I need longer fish. Oh, but man, it's fun catching them. That was like three casts later. There's gotta be a bunch of them stacked up through here. I'm just letting this, it's like, I can see the bottom just barely. It's probably six, seven foot deep. Like it's a big deep stretch through here. They're probably just fish all over. Oh, what happened? Oh, no, no, no. Dude, my line took off. I think my bell was still open. What was that? That was weird. Is there a fish on there? Yes, there is. Oh, I didn't get the hook set on him. Okay. The new Helgramite works. <laughs> um, this is a not a healthy looking bass. Pretty nasty looking actually. Very skinny, you got some scars. All right, let's put this Helgramite away for now. Let's try to find something else that's gonna get some fish. It held up very well. I like hooking it through the side like that. It seems like it didn't tear the lure up. It's kind of, it's the way I do the yum dinger. And um, I caught all those fish on the same one, so. That guy did pretty well, let's put him away. Another Kentucky. I mean, these are healthy fish. Just short. Fun to catch though. Another 12 incher. Huge. Good fish though. Now that's a more respectable keeper. Throwing a little jig. Okay, there's some bigger fish. I don't know if I want to keep going or not because I kind of want to save it for tomorrow. But then again, I might not even catch anything tomorrow. Sometimes it's like, you just don't know how it's gonna go. There could be two or three people here tomorrow. 14 and a half. Good fish though. I did not slack in my line. Another Kentucky, another 12 incher. They are thumping the spinner bait though. I, it's hard to get enough of that. This thing's fat. That was literally like a minute later after I caught that other one. <coughs> well, slow down bites. As I've gotten into the deeper water, I feel like, well, I mean, I, obviously in this, it's deeper and longer, like bigger fish could easily be living in here. 
they're not as they're all bunched up there at the front i'm getting closer it's getting wider the wind is really rough so i sure hope it ain't like it's tomorrow let's go work our way back upstream i'm gonna throw a crankbait and then we're gonna go scout out a couple more ramps there's josh down there yeah, I think it's on the phone. They don't have enough fishing gear in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Josh, Josh standing there. Me and Gary standing down here. We're over here watching some basketball. That's how you get pumped up for fishing. You watch basketball. Get you going. So we're here staying at a, a marina tonight. We're in one of their uh, little cabins or little rooms they rent out. Uh, there's not very many people here. And I think... I'm going to go ahead and put in at the marina since it's like right here. I can just drive right over there and put in. And um, I know I, I'm, I'm thinking that I'm gonna, I really want to try to catch some bigger fish. And the place I fished today, there's, there's a lot of fish there. Just don't know if there's any big ones there. The old me would have gone there first thing. My new me is trying to actually catch like some bigger fish and like take this tournament kind of seriously. So I'm going to put in here and fish the area at least for, let's say... Um, half the day and if i am not doing well then i'll just leave and go back to the other place and hopefully i can get on those fish so that's the goal i'm gonna try to get some sleep both of us uh snore real loud so that's gonna be hard but watch a little basketball get some sleep get up gonna be starting fishing at 6 30 in the morning 5 30 i was wrong lines are in at 5 30 we can start fishing right now the sun doesn't come up for about another 20 to 30 minutes it's 33 degrees so it's pretty cold morning i'm layered up pretty good because i want to stay warm but we're go i'm going to the ramp and there's four of us kayakers putting in the big area so i'm about to pull in over here take take my time i'm gonna get in i don't want to really get going until it gets light um but i got some snacks i'm gonna eat brought some drinks and stuff because we don't have no there's nowhere no gas stations to go by so i brought somehow alarm went off right when i was talking but all right it's time to load up the kayak get to fishing here in a minute Nah, I think everybody's gonna catch fish today. I think we're finally gonna have a tournament where everybody catches them. All right, I'm going this way. It looks closer. I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna start working back in there. Dude, there's so many boats flying around. There's a tournament and I don't even know. There's boats are going every which way up here. I'm about to move though. I haven't got a bite. Been out here for over two hours. It's so big and vast. Like it takes forever to get around, like to hit the spots you want to hit. So I think I'm going to go to the spot there was at yesterday. Hopefully nobody's there. If there is, hopefully I can still catch some fish. I just want to catch some fish. Man, this is, this is aggravating. I should have pre-fished this area more, but I don't know. What's on? Yeah, it looks, there's a, there's like a rock ledge around there. It's really cool right here. All right, I'm kind of excited about today again. Moved. Back over here where I was catching them yesterday. Me and Gary came over here. Hopefully we can get some fish because it's there's not as much wind. It's got we're down in the channel too, so I hope they're still in here. I don't know.
Is that a large mouth? Yeah. How big is it? 15. <laughs> Have you caught the other ones? Yeah. What? I ain't caught nothing. About 16 and a half. Oh my god. Uh, I had two fish follow my bait. They're, they're, I don't know what's going on. I have no idea what's going on. So I gotta take a Mountain Dew break. And I got some chips to eat. 10.30, 11.30, 12 .30. Three hours ago, I still ain't caught a fish today. I've been in, a, we've been over here for an hour. Haven't got anything out of this creek. And to make matters worse, Gary, he's already caught two good ones. <laughs> and I brought him over here. I told him, I was like, oh, we'll come over there and catch them. And it's totally different. There's, it's slower. He's caught two decent ones, but it's been a slow bite. So I don't even know what to do anymore. And there's another guy that's in here that's, he's, he's caught some downstream. So I'm losing a lot of confidence. I thought I would be able to come up here and catch them. Just never can tell what's gonna happen, but we got three hours. I need, still need three fish. First fish today. Oh man, this has been a struggle. I've been so aggravated. First one, I caught 10 of these or more yesterday in a couple hours. I can't even catch three in three hours now. I see a nice bass sitting right there. Oh, two of them. Two nice bass just cruising through. I've been casting up in here. No bites. Those two have been good keepers. That's the way it's been today for me. I just had a follow and a bite on the uh, glide bait. Oh, holy cow, it worked, it worked. Oh my goodness. The glide bait worked. Can I get it in? Oh my goodness. Yes. On that glide bait, I had one swipe at it and then this one smoked it. First time I've ever caught a fish in the glide bait. I haven't figured anything out all day. I knew there was fish in here. I thought there was some good ones. Didn't know there was ones this big. First keeper today. The first keeper I got. I've had a couple bites. I never really tried it. I'm so desperate, that's what I'm going to. And I catch a 19 inch, probably a four pound largemouth out of this small area where I thought was little fish. That was so cool. That was cool. Dude, that changes so much. Like that that I'm learning so much from this horrible day. It's never over till it's over. That's my first keeper. And I only got an hour left today. I'm gonna come back up here. We're gonna I had one swipe down there. Maybe I'll just I'll just I might just have to stick with that because that's the only thing I've had a fish commit on. Oh, there's a bunch of, there's three or four of them. I just had a hit, I just had a hit. 
There's three or four good ones. Look like 15, 16 inch probably. I need two more. Give me two years. 15 minutes, 15 minutes. Is there any way I can catch two fish in 15 minutes? Time's up. What a weird day of fishing. I'm just gonna load the kayak up. We're gonna meet up with the other guys. Uh, I gotta submit my one fish. One big 19 inch largemouth, only keeper. What a weird day. No matter how bad a day of fishing you've had, after eating some pollo loco and getting filled up, you know, everything feels, you start looking at life a lot better. And um, after getting something to eat and talking to some other guys, you know, I was, man, I was so locked in today and thought I had, I thought I knew what the fish were gonna do and they just didn't do what I wanted them to do. It's, a, it's crazy, that's one of the biggest differences I've ever seen in a day, from one day fishing the same area to the next day, how, how different the fish reacted. They were still there, but they reacted so much differently. I either had to fish super slow, which one of the guys caught him, and another guy told me he caught him on a jerk bait in there. And that's two, that's two ways. I just I tried to do a jerk bait, and I tried fishing slow, and I just couldn't. I couldn't do it right, I guess. But catching a catching that fish on a glide bait kind of opened my eyes to. I fished with uh, Reed Angling um, not too long ago, and I watched him catch in three. Miles, turn right onto South Holly Street. I'd watched him catch three or four bass on a glide bait. So the water was clear. I knew the fish were there. I wanted to see if I could pull it out and man, it pulled out a giant that I did not think a uh, fish that big would be in there. So that's something looking going forward. That's, you know, this is a weird, strange day, but I learned a lot. Hopefully this is gonna pay off in one of these tournaments where I put it all together and, and actually like win one. Last year I did good. This year I've been struggling. I haven't had a good, maybe one good tournament so far. And that's why they call it fishing and not catching, as they say. Thanks for watching another tournament down. Um, Dale Hollow was a cool place. I hope I was hoping to get a big smallmouth, no big smallmouth. But I got another big tournament coming up on Chickamauga in about two weeks. That's gonna be a two day tournament. And the weather should be really good. I'm hoping to be able to catch a bunch of good fish. So we'll see how that goes. Stay tuned.